All right, in this section here, we're going to be talking about uh, solving linear systems, but this in this time, it's going to be in three variables. Um, we're going to be finding an x, y, and a z. So we've added an extra dimension uh, to this particular system here. And of course, well, we start out with something simple. So let's go ahead and go to the whiteboard. Oh, and this, uh, as you can see here, Right, so we can scroll through, get random numbers here. Uh, this is on my web page, which you can find that link on my uh, YouTube channel over on the right-hand side. All right, well, let's solve this system. All right, so here's the uh, system. And what we're going to do, since we're already given X and Y, all we need to do is find Z in this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute the 4 in for the x here. So 4 plus, we know what y is. y is 7. And z we don't know. So now we've got this equation here. We just need to solve for z. So this is, uh, what, 11 plus z is equal to 16. So then we have z is equal to, so we take the 11, take it to the other side. So we end up with 16 minus 11, which is going to be equal to, I was going to write it up above, but I'll write it down below. All right. uh, 16 minus 11, and the difference in that is, what, 5? Okay. So our solution, we have x is equal to 4 which was given y is equal to 7 and z is equal to 5. Now you could write this as an ordered pair or this would be actually called an ordered triple since it's not a pair it's a triple. All right? we could write it like this if we were talking about the graph and we're actually not going to uh, get into the graph of this but if you can imagine graphing these now you got to take in mind that we are in three dimensions and this would be your y-axis, your x-axis or normally this would, sorry, this would be your z-axis, y-axis. So the x-y plane has been laid down and we're adding a height to this is, uh, is what's going on here. Um, where we have planes, they're flat pieces, they're planes in three-dimensional space and where these planes intersect is where is what we're looking at here right so that would be like a point somewhere in the plane all right we're not going to get into that we're just going to talk uh, briefly about solving these systems well, let's let's look at another one okay so this would be like the solution down here and I believe that's what we did come up with okay all right let's look at another one let's adjust this up and then let's look at this one here so we have x is equal to 7 x plus y is equal to 16 and x plus y plus z is equal to 19 and we want to solve for x y and z in this system alright so we got the system written out well we know what x is x is 7 we're given that so we're going to uh, use this equation to find y so I'm going to plug 7 in and we need to now find y and so I take this 7 over to the right hand side so we have y is equal to 16 minus 7 which is going to be 9 so now we know what 9 is so I'll just write this up here so x was, was given to us y is equal to 9 and now we need to find z well we're going to go down to this equation here let's see we have 7 plus 9 plus z is equal to 19 and so therefore z is equal to uh, what is this going to be 19 minus 16 so we get z is equal to 3 now let's go back and check that so if you were to plug those three numbers directly into here it should add to 19 plus it satisfies these two here okay all right, and let's see what we got here. We'll have to scroll down. Yep, 7, 9, and 3. So that uh, agrees with what we've got. 
Right, we're going to look at a uh, look at another one here. I punched a button three here to get a uh, another one to come up. It's much like two, except uh, these coefficients here are not ones. Okay, a little bigger number to work with. Um, in the future, I'll be adding some other buttons. In other words, some different, other more complicated problems. But uh, I'm just going to leave it at this because this is just intermediate algebra. So we don't want to get too difficult, but. Let's work this one out. Okay, so they're giving us y is equal to 10, x plus y is equal to 19, and 2x plus 10y plus 9z is equal to 208, or 208, I should say. So we want to find um, x, we want to find y, which actually they already gave us what y is. And then we want to find z. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with this x plus z is equal to 19 here. And they gave us y. Actually, we're not going to start with x plus. We're going to start with uh, we're going to start with one of these guys down here, I guess. Actually, let's um, yeah, because see, there's no y in here, right? So let's go down and let's look at this down here. We have uh, 2x plus 10y plus 9z is equal to 208. So we don't know what x is, so I'll rewrite that, plus 10. We do know what y is. y is 10, so I'm going to put a 10 here. And we don't know what z is. So we just kind of rewrite the equation. Okay, uh, simplify this down so this becomes 100. 10 times 10 is 100, right? <clears throat> and then I'm going to take that 100 to the other side over here. So we're going to shift down a little bit. Alright. And so this becomes 108 to x plus 9z. Well, now what we've got is I've got an equation here with x plus z in it. And here's another equation. 2x plus 9z is equal to 108. And what we're going to want to do now, since we have two equations and we have two unknowns, that uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and work these out. Now this is just like the previous section. Alright, and I think what I'm going to do here is, is uh, I'll just take this um, x, it doesn't matter which one, you can take either one, take it to the other side. So we have z is equal to 19 minus x, and then I'm going to take this whole thing and plug it right into the z here. So we're going to have 2x plus 9 times 19 minus x and of course this is all equal to 108. All right. Now we want to go ahead and simplify this down so we have 2x plus 9 times 19 is 171 minus 9x is equal to 108. So we have um, a 2x minus a 9x. And I'm going to rewrite this 171 minus. So this is going to be a 7x equal 108. And then what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to go ahead and take that 108 over to the left and then the 7x over to the right and so now we have so this becomes 63 and then we multiply both sides by 1 7th to get rid of this uh, 7 here and so we end up with x is equal to x is equal to 9 now we can go right back up here to this equation and find out what z is. So z is equal to 19 minus 9, so therefore z is equal to 10. So now we know what x and z are. So here's our solution. And of course I hit the answer and that's what the computer gives us. So good luck.